welcome to Cutting with Kids. My name is Kalia. My name is Andrew. Today we're on Minecraft Education Edition. So we're in Python 101 Lesson 3. So first we're going to talk to the CEO. So the CEO says, hey there, it's good to see you again as we need your help at the company. You would be surprised to know that software is used in every branch of modern industry. An example would be that we are developing software to help farmers. This software makes people's lives easier and their jobs more efficient. So we're going to help the CEO's company. So first we're going to talk to the programmer. Hi, so the programmer says, hello, can you help me? I need to make this sorting machine work, but every time I run the code, it gives me the wrong combination. Can you look at the sequence on the wall and write some code that will give the right combination in the chat? Try the combination out by pressing the buttons in the same sequence. So now we're going to look at the thing. So variable sequence is A, C, B, and D. So first we're going to go to code builder. So it says create two new, new variables called b and c. The value of b should be male and the value of c should be apple. So after a varies, we're going to do c equals apple equals apple and b equals Melon. Melon. Okay. Then we're gonna do we're gonna do a new line and then do fruit equals a. So this will assign the fruit variable to a, which is berry. So then we're gonna do player dot say fruit. So it'll say berry. Then here we're gonna do fruit equals C. So now we're resigning it to C, so it'll do when the player does say fruit, it'll say apple. Then and do this one here. And do fruit equals B. So it'll say melon. And then finally there's fruit equals D. So do player does say berries. So we're gonna run it. Okay, so first, it said berries, apple, melon, egg. So, berries, apple, and melon, berries. Cool. Okay, so now it's doing the fruit. Okay, cool. So, we can go on to the next activity. So, now we're going to talk to the developer. The developer says, Could I ask for your help? I need to plant these crops on a defined location. However, I always get the coordinates wrong. Can you write some code that will place the right crop in the correct positions? I will turn on your world coordinates for you so you can see them on the top left hand corner. Okay, so now we have our coordinates on. So first we are going to go here. Okay. Oh. It was right above us. So we need, so the instruction says, look at each of the five different location variables over here and see what crops are at these coordinates. You can create five place block of position commands with either pumpkin or melon block at the correct location variable to match the crop at the coordinate. If you see the coordinates and coding window at the same time, click on the half coding window button in each. Okay, so we're gonna do it here so we can see our position. So, first, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do blocks dot place. Box by place, melon block, melon block, I'm just going to melon block, location one, location one, so, so the melon block is at location one, so we're going to do blocks dot place melon block, location one, so I'm going to add an underscore here, and next we're going to do, we can do it after this, box dot place, wish for it. We're going to do melon block again. Melon block and location two. Okay. Then we're going to do for location three, we're going to do blocks dot place. Pumpkin. 
rotation three. Okay. Rotation three. And for location four, we're going to do blocks dot place pumpkin location four. And finally, we're going to do blocks dot place melon block at location five. Looks like the other melon blocks, you did the L as I. Oops. So now the, all the fruit is planted on the right coordinates. So we're going to go to our last activity. So we're going to talk to the data scientist. So the data scientist says, Hi, can you help me? I need to calculate the sums of three different lists on the monitors. But for some reason, I always get the total cost wrong. Can you write some code to calculate the three different final costs? So first we're going to go here. It says, look at teacher monitor 1 and calculate the sum shown by creating a new variable called cost. Run the code to show the total cost in the chat. Press the matching button for that total. So we're going to create a new variable called cost. So we're going to add up all this stuff. So first we're going to do apple plus melon plus berries star which is times two because there's the order two berries and then plus plus potato okay so now we're right then we're going to clear that say cost so we know which cost is 60 seconds we're going to press the button correct right. then we're going to go to screen two so did calculate okay then we're going to go next Look at a TV monitor number two. You now need to add a new crop, pumpkin. Do this by creating a variable called pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin equal. And then set this value as a formula that is the difference between the variables berries and apples. So berries and apples. So 20 minus 10 is 10. Then add a new variable pumpkin to the variable cost. Then run the code and press the correct button. So after potato, and we're going to add plus pumpkin. So we added pumpkin. So now we're going to run. Let's see. We're going to 77. 77. So we're going to press the button. Correct. So now we're going to go final screen. Okay. Then look at the last TV monitor. The value of the crops apple and melon have now changed. Apple has increased by price in two. So we're going to change apples 10 to 12. And melon has decreased in price by 3. So melon, and melon. Okay, so we're going to change the melon to also 12. Okay. Okay. So now, we're going to move it up there so we can see it. Okay. So the cost equals 1 apple, 1 melon, 2 berries, 1 potato, and 1 pumpkin. So that's the same, but we... The, we increase the apple price and decrease the melon price. Yeah. So now we're going to run. Let's see. 76. Let's see. Right, press the button. Right. Yay! Oh, it's rock. Okay. Yay. So we're going to go in the elevator because we're done. Okay. Press this. Press it. Press it. So the door is closed and we're at the beginning again. Well, that was fun, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.